All right, we've scheduled a 15 minute study session to discuss possible land bank. No? Becky's going to take care of it. Fantastic. Um, thank you very much for coming to the study session. 15 minutes seems more like cramming. So <laughs> you, you were given homework, though. Tammy sent out a document that um, is a proposed operating structure for the land bank. I'm sure you've looked at it and read it. On the third page, there is a change um, after I sent it out under the financial operations and revenue generation ideas. Um, I had included the TIF as the very last item. And we decided to scratch through that now. Maybe this isn't the time. We can add one later if that seems like a viable resource for, um, for uh, revenue generation. But for now, just scratch through that. Um, so if you have read through it, I won't stand here and present it to you. Um, I would rather just answer questions you might have, if there are any. Any questions? Thank you. That is short and sweet <laughs> study session. So, okay. As questions arise, please aim them to me. Um, I, Henry and, and I are working on an ordinance that we will present to you um, that would create the land bank and the board of trustees. So that should be on your short-term radar. Um, and then following that, we will present um, a list of vetted board of trustee nominations for you to consider as well. So that should all be coming in the next couple of weeks. And refresh my memory, how are we coming up with those names? Um, it, within this operating structure document, we have outlined the um, members of the Board of Trustees. So real estate professional, financial professional, attorney, contractor, a member of the EDAC, a representative of the school district and a Crawford County appraiser or a representative thereof. So, so are we going to go to those groups and ask for volunteers or are we going to go and find people or that's what us? If it's okay with you, what we're hoping to do is give you three names to start with and obviously if you bring, if you have somebody, okay. when you get into an attorney, it's hard to, you know, here's the phone book. So we thought we'd come up with three names for okay. each one of those categories and then if you guys don't have a name on there that suits you, obviously any of you could bring up a name, but that'd get you going. Okay. So we just okay. vote them in and then call them and tell them they're on the board, or will we ask them? I think first? we'll probably contact them first. <laughs> <laughs> See if they're we probably, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, it, we probably ought to go through, um, you know, a board's a significant part of this, but seriously, the land bank is the vision and the goals i think the community would appreciate if we could take five minutes even though you've all read this and if becky could just okay. skim through this very quickly for people that haven't had a chance to read it um and get some of the information out about it's it's a lot more than just a board i mean there's a whole purpose to doing it. i think it's an important purpose so if that's okay absolutely i'm happy to do that so the overall vision is um, as it was written is to increase the productive use of property within the city limits while eliminating liabilities that are imposed on the city by vacant, dilapidated, and abandoned parcels. Um, so to take those and put them back into productive use, get them back on the tax rolls. Um, the overarching goals are to eliminate the harm that's caused by those dilapidated parcels, um, eliminate barriers of returning them into productive use, so to eliminate any of the liens or the foreclosures, etc., cetera, um, demolish properties if they need to be, that kind of thing. Um, to convey the properties to new owners. And then we, we, we wrote in for maximum authority to negotiate and to complete transactions. So we're talking about broad policy parameters. So if we identify several parcels and we know that the, they're, they're in a residential community and we wanted to keep them single family homes, even of a certain style, the board can decide that as well. Um, the board could also set aside um, land for commercial use as well. Um, and then we could hold on to some properties for future use. So if we know that there is an area of town that uh, has a lot of blight and we can start acquiring some properties, we can sit on them for a little while until we can acquire others or find partners that are um, in control of those properties to, to join in the revitalization efforts. Um, and then to return the tax delinquent properties to productive use, that's where we become good partners with the county as well, the school district. 
So we can acquire a property through um, tax foreclose sales through the, through the county. We can um, receive tax donated gift properties. We can open market purchase properties and um, we could also attain properties through other government surplus, surpluses, drug forfeitures, things like this. Um, we will maintain, by Kansas statute, we have to maintain a list of the properties we have at all times. It has to be available to public at all times. So it seems that the um, internet is probably the best way to do that. And it may also be the best way to gain um, buy-in and cooperation from the other entities who, who would would be involved. Another best practice that um, I'm not, I don't think it's included in this document, but another best practice is to hold um, open meetings for the general public, but specifically invite all of the contractors, developers, property managers, um, realtors, and to demonstrate to them where there are clusters of properties that the city is willing to put revitalization efforts towards. Um, and, and get the entire community focused on specific areas at, at a time so that we can see visible change, much like we're seeing at Lincoln Square. You can really see the impact that it had there. So it's about focusing in all of our current programs um, and then having a little bit more control of the land in that. And that's the overall, Is that I a mean, good it's, gist? the details will be, you know, a lot of it will be in the final ordinance and. Uh, John, I think that now that you've seen this and you see what the categories are, yeah, just if you guys have a name of attorney or a real real estate mm -hmm. person or a, obviously the member of the EDAC, there's only a short number of those. Um, Representative 250, just get them to us. I don't know how quick we're moving on. As quick as we can, I would like. Uh, we need to. That sounds like fun. Yeah, because I didn't know if we were going to put a notice out saying this will be coming if you would like to serve. You know, let it, and you fit in one of these categories. Mm -hmm. Would we you could, would you be able to would volunteer? You prefer? And I'm assuming we would do that through Tammy, like we do with any other. Yeah, we'll just get board. out through all the different media options, and we'll do that tomorrow. And when Becky's ready to come back and put the ordinance, hopefully very soon. And if you have any questions, let us know. If anybody has any questions, you know, we'd be happy to go talk to them about it. It's a, it's a new idea, and there's not a lot of them in the state. What is there? Three. I think I found four in the state of Kansas, but so it's pretty new Michigan, it's, I mean, it's pretty well covered with land banks. Yeah. So, um, it, it's, it's new to us, but it's not new in practice. So will the ordinance and the board, will that be something that will be on next meeting's agenda? I'm hoping so. But we're planning on, yes. I'm really excited about this. I think it's a great mm -hmm. piece of infrastructure that will help us in a lot of ways. Yeah, so I am too. Thanks for getting it together so quickly. Well, Troy did a whole lot of uh, back research. So when I stepped into my seat, I was able to take over a lot of documents and cannibalize them. So it was, it was a group effort, but yeah. it's exciting. Is that it? Thank you. See how it goes? Thank All right, you. thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Becky. Uh, that closes our study session, and we're going to have a short recess before we open the regular commission meeting tonight. Cool. What's that? Yeah, I think we're going to have a little too fast.